Welcome to the class. In this video, we shall use differentiation to find the equation of a tangent line and the normal line to a curve at a given point. Recall that the equation of a straight line passing through a given point x0, y0 having finite slope m is given by y minus y0 is equal to m x minus x0 where m is the slope of the line and it is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Suppose we have a line AB. The point A and B lies on the line. Slope of the line will be m y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In this case, the line AB is a secant to the given curve. When the points A and B come closer and closer and finally coincide at a point, say this point m, in that case, the line becomes the tangent. In that case, m is equal to delta y divided by delta x. Delta means the difference. Difference in the y coordinates and this is the difference in the x coordinate. Because they come together, they coincide each other. So delta x tend to 0. The right hand side of the above equation is nothing but the definition of the derivative dy over dx or if y is given y is equal to fx then dy by dx is equal to first derivative of x that is f prime x so to find the slope of the tangent at a given point we have to find the first derivative of the curve at that given point suppose we have a point h comma k and we have to find the slope of slope of the tangent at h comma k will be equal to m dy over dx at x is equal to h and y is equal to k or f prime x h or f prime at h. This is the slope. Using this equation y minus y naught equal to m x minus x naught we can find the equation of the tangent at a given point using derivative. Now we know that if m1 and m2 are the slopes of two normal line or two mutually perpendicular lines then m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So suppose we have a curve like this and we have to find the normal at this point. So first we have to draw a tangent at this given point and then we have to find the normal at this point. How? The slope of the tangent slope of the tangent will be equal to this. So slope of the normal means this line will be equal to m2 is equal to minus 1 divided by f prime x. So let us jump to the exercise 6.3 question number one question number one is find the slope of the tangent to a curve y equal to 3x raised to the power 4 minus 4x at x is equal to 4 we have to find the slope of the tangent so we'll find the first derivative that is dy over dx differentiating with respect to x we'll get 12 x cubed minus 4 we have to find the slope at x equal to 4 so m will be equal to 12 in place of this in place of x we will put x equal to 4 so it will be 4 cubed 12 into 4 cubed minus 4 12 into 64 minus 4 768 minus 4 it will be 764 this is the slope of the tangent at this that point we have to find the slope only now we'll see question number five find the slope of the normal to the curve x equal to a cos cube theta y equal to a sin cube theta at theta is equal to four here the equation of the curve is in parametric form so we'll find the derivative dx over d theta because x and y are not directly related to each other so we'll get 
थ्री ए कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा साइन थीटा माइनस साइन विल कम हियर डी एक्स ओवर डी वाई ओवर डी थीटा विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री ए साइन स्क्वायर थीटा कॉस थीटा वी आर अप्लाइंग चेन रूल है सो डी वाई ओवर डी थी डी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू डी वाई ओवर डी थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई डी एक्स ओवर डी थीटा डी वाई ओवर डी थीटा इज थ्री ए साइन स्क्वायर थीटा कॉस थीटा डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस थ्री ए कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा इंटू साइन थीटा सो दिस कॉस थीटा विल कैंसिल वन पावर ऑफ कॉस थीटा इन द डोनोमेटर दिस साइन थीटा विल कैंसिल वन पावर ऑफ द साइन थीटा इन द न्यूमिनेटर दिस थ्री ए विल कैंसिल दिस थ्री ए इन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड नाउ विल हैव साइन थीटा इन द न्यूमिनेटर एंड माइनस ऑफ कॉस थीटा इन द डिनोमिनेटर फाइनली विल गेट डी वाई ओवर डी थी डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ टेन थीटा we have to find the slope of the normal when theta is equal to pi by 4 as we know that this is the slope of the tangent slope of the tangent at theta equal to pi by 4 m is equal to minus of 10 pi by 4 will substitute theta with pi by 4 m is equal to minus 1 as 10 pi by 4 is 1 Now we'll find slope of the normal. Slope of the normal. We know that m one m two is equal to minus one if two lines are perpendicular to each other. The slope of the normal will be equal to negative reciprocal of slope of the tangent. It will be equal to one. So this is the slope of the normal. This is the answer. Now question number seven. Find the point at which the tangent to the curve is parallel to x-axis. If a tangent is parallel to x-axis, means its slope is zero. Let us find the first derivative. dy by dx is equal to three x square minus six x minus nine. In this case, we have to find the point where the tangent is parallel to x-axis. Let the tangent to the curve is parallel to x-axis at H comma k when the tangent is parallel to x axis means slope is zero. It means that at that point dy over dx is equal to zero and will be equal to value of this equation at h comma k. So three h square minus six h minus nine. This should be equal to zero. Three h square minus six h minus nine is equal to zero. Taking three common, we'll get x. H square minus two h minus three is equal to zero. It means h square minus three h plus h minus three is equal to zero. H will be common in the first pair. H minus three and one is common in the second pair. H minus three. H minus three is common in both the pairs now. H minus three into h plus one. Is equal to zero. This implies h is equal to three, or h is equal to minus one. So these are the possible values of h where the tangent may be parallel to x-axis. But we have to find the points. So we have to find the corresponding y value that is k also. Here the equation of the curve was given. Y is equal to x cubed minus three x squared. Minus nine x plus seven. So corresponding y value will be equal to that is k when h is equal to three or x equal to three. Three cubed minus three into three square minus nine into three plus seven. These two will cancel each other. We'll get. Minus twenty-seven plus seven equal to minus 
20 k is equal to minus 20 the first point is the first point is 3 comma minus 20 similarly we can find the second point when s is equal to minus 1 k will be equal to minus 1 cubed minus 3 into minus 1 square minus 9 into minus 1 plus 7 minus 1 minus 3 plus 9 plus 7 k will be equal to minus 4 plus 16 equal to 12 k is equal to 12 so the second point is minus 1 comma 12 so the required point are the required points are where the tangents are parallel to x axis 3 comma minus 20 and minus 1 comma 12 this is the answer question number 8 find the point on the curve y equal to x minus 2 whole squared at which the tangent is parallel to the chord joining the points 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 let us find dy over dx it will be 2 x minus 2 now this slope is parallel to the line joining these two points so we'll find the slope of the line joining these two points m will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 4 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 2 the slope will be 4 divided by 2 is equal to m is equal to 2. Now let at h comma k the slope of the line is equal to 2 which is equal to the line joining these two points. So we'll equate this equation with equal to 2, 2, 2 x is h minus 2 h minus 2 is equal to 1 these two will cancel each other h is equal to 3 now the equation of the curve is y is equal to x minus 2 whole cube whole squared the corresponding k value will be equal to 3 minus 2 whole squared so k is equal to 1 square equal to 1 k is equal to 1 and it's equal to 3 the required point is 3 comma 1 at 3 comma 1 the tangent on the curve will be parallel to the line joining the point 2 comma 0 and 4 comma 4 similarly we can solve question number 9 in that case the slope of the tangent will be 1 we can compare y equal to mx plus c with the y equal to x minus 11 so we'll get slope is equal to 1 let us see question number 15 find the equation of the line to the curve y equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 which is parallel to a a parallel to the line 2x minus y plus 9 equal to 0 so the slope of this line is equal to 2 we can easily find the slope of this line differentiating equation number 1 will get dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 2 now as the tangent is parallel to this line so the, both the tangent and this line will have the same slope that is slope will be equal to 2 so we'll compare 2x minus 2 with this 2 these two will be equal so we'll get 2x is equal to 4 x is equal to 2 at x equal to 2 the tangent will be parallel to the given line a but we have to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve for that we have to find the corresponding y value equation of the curve is y equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 we will find the corresponding y value 2 squared minus 2 into 2 plus 7 so it will be equal to 7 when x equal to 2 y is equal to 7 so the required point is 2 comma 7 at this point we have to find the equation of the tangent to the curve we know that 
equation of the line is y minus y naught equal to m x minus x naught. So this is x naught y naught and slope is already we have calculated is equal to 2. So y minus 7 is equal to 2 times x minus 2. The value of x naught is 2. So this is the equation of the tangent at required point. Now part number 2. Perpendicular to the line 5y minus 15x equal to 13. See so here the slope of this line is the slope of this line is 3. What we have to do is uh, we have to find the equation of the tangent to the curve that is y equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 perpendicular to this given line. Now this slope and the slope of the tangent are perpendicular to each other that is m1 m2 is equal to minus 1. Slope of the tangent will be equal to negative reciprocal of this slope minus 1 upon 3. So this will be the slope of the tangent as we have given that that tangent is perpendicular to this line. Now we know that dy over dx is equal to we have already calculated it was equal to 2x minus 2 2x minus 2 so this slope will should be equal to this slope so 2x minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 this will give the point at which the tangent has this much slope so 2x is equal to 2 minus 1 upon 3 that is 5 upon 3 2x is equal to 5 upon 3 x equal to 5 upon 6 now we will find the corresponding y value it is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 x square minus 2x plus 7 x square is 25 by 36 this is equal to 10 upon 6 plus 7 taking the LCD 36 25 minus 60 plus 7 32 minus 60 divided by 36 is equal to minus 28 divided by y equal to 7.9 so the required point is 5 by 6 minus 7 upon 9 so tangent is y minus y naught is minus 7 upon 9 equal to m m is 1 upon minus 1 upon 3 x minus 5 upon 6 simplifying this equation will get the equation of the tangent question number 18 for the curve y equal to 4x cubed minus 2x raised to the power 5 find all the point at which the tangent passes through the region now let us first find the derivative dy over dx is equal to 12x square minus 10x to the power. Now we have to find, suppose this is the curve and this is the origin 0, 0. This is the variable point x, y on the curve and this will be the tangent because tangent passes through the origin. The slope of this line will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. This will be the slope that is m equal to y divided by x. This slope should be equal to this slope. It means that y by x is equal to 12x square minus 10 into x raised to the power 4. y is equal to 12x cubed minus 10x raised to the power 5. This is the given equation and this is the equation number 2. Equating 1 and 2, we get 12x cubed minus 10x raised to the power 5 is equal to 4x cubed minus 2x raised to the power 5. Simplifying, we'll get 8x cubed minus 8x raised to the power 5 is equal to 0 taking 8 8x cubed common will get 1 minus x square equal to 0 this will give you x equal to 0 
x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 1. These are the these are the possible values of x. So corresponding value of y will be we have given the curve y is equal to 4x cubed minus 2x raised to the power 5. So putting x equal to 0, we get y equal to 0. The first point is 0, comma 0. Putting x equal to 1, y is equal to 4 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 raised to the power 5. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So the second point is 1, comma 2. When x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 4 into minus 1 cubed minus 2 into minus 1 raised to the power 5 is equal to minus 4 plus 2 is equal to minus 2. So the third point is minus 1 comma minus 2. So writing all the points together, first point is 0 comma 0, second point is 1 comma 2, third point is minus 1 comma minus 2. These are the points where the tangent passes through the origin. Now question number 20. Find the equation of the normal at the point am square am cubed for the curve ay square equal to x cubed. So differentiating this equation we will get a into 2y into dy over dx. We are applying chain rule 3x square dy over dx is equal to 3x square divided by 2ay. This is the slope of the tangent at a variable point. But we have to find the slope of the normal. The slope of the normal will be equal to negative reciprocal of this minus 1 over 3x square upon 2ay m is equal to minus 2ay divided by 3x 3x square. The value of x and y both are given. Slope the normal will be equal to minus 2ay. y is equal to am cubed and x is equal to am squared minus 2a square m cubed divided by 3a square m raised power 4. Final answer will be minus 2. Slope of the normal is minus 2 upon 3 m. Now we have to find the equation of the normal to the curve. Now equation of a line is y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught. This is the formula. Don't confuse this m with this m. This is this m is for the slope and this m is some arbitrary constant. So substituting the values y minus y naught is a m cubed is equal to m minus 2 upon 3 m slope x minus x naught is a m square simplify and you'll get the required answer. Now 23 the most important it says prove that the curve y is equal to x square and x y is equal to k cut at right angles if 8k square equal to 1. These two curve cut at right angles if this is true. So we'll find the slope of both the curve. First, first differentiating the first curve, we'll get dy over dx is equal to 2x. And differentiating the second curve, we'll get x into dy over dx plus y into 1 is equal to 0 using product rule here dy over dx will be equal to minus y upon x this is the slope of the second curve and this is the slope of the first curve now as we have given the two curve are perpendicular to each other normal to each other now let us find the point of intersection of the two curve solving these two equations this and this will get x into x square is equal to k it means x cube equal to k it means x equal to k raised to the power 
1 by 3. So using this value in this equation, we'll get y is equal to k raised to the power 2 by 3. So the point of intersection is, suppose this is the first curve and this is the second curve. This point of intersection will be k raised power 1 by 3 and k raised power 2 by 3. This is the x value and this is the y value. Now, slope of the first curve will be equal to, say m1 is equal to, using these value in this equation, we'll get m1 will be equal to 2 into 2x k is power by 3 and m2 is equal to using this value in second slope m2 equal to minus k is power 2 by 3 divided by k is power 1 by 3 so m2 will be equal to minus k raised to the power 1 by 3 these are the two slopes now if if two curves are mutually perpendicular, it means that ten, their tangents are also perpendicular to each other. This is the tangent to the first curve and this is the tangent to the second curve. If two curves are normal to each other, it means that angle between their tangents is also 90 degree. It means that m1 into m2 should be is equal to minus 1. So what is the value of m1? 2k is power 1 by 3. And what is the value of m2? Minus k is power 1 by 3. And if two tangents are perpendicular to each other, the product of the slope should be equal to minus 1. So this will be equal to minus 2k is power 2 by 3 is equal to minus 1. This minus will cancel this minus. We will get k is power 2 by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 cubing both side k is power 2 by 3 whole cubed is equal to 1 by 2 whole cubed on left side we'll get k square on the right side we'll get 1 by 8 that is 8k square is equal to 1 when the two lines are when the two curves are perpendicular to each other then 8k square equal to 1 so this is the Proof. Similarly, you can solve the remaining problem of this exercise. In our next video, we'll use the concept of derivatives to calculate the maximum or minimum value of the various function. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.